Hey, I'm Chef Tom with All Things Barbecue, and today we're making Dutch oven pot roast on the grill. Pot roast is a dish that many of us have grown up eating for generations. It's essentially a large piece of beef that's seared and then braised in some sort of cooking liquid, often with some vegetables and some aromatics in there as well. Now, most of us have grown up watching this done in a crock pot on the countertop and cooking all day long. But today we're gonna mix it up just a little bit. We're gonna do this inside of our Dutch oven and we're gonna do it on the grill. First thing we need to do is get a nice sear on our roast. So we've got our Lodge seven quart Dutch oven preheated over high heat. We're gonna add some vegetable oil, enough to about cover the bottom. Now once this oil is almost smoking, we're gonna add the roast in and sear it on all sides so we can get a nice browning and create a little bit of fond on the bottom of the pan. And we just add a little bit of oil to the outside of the roast to help our rub stick. The roast we're using today is actually the point meat from a brisket, which is a little bit fattier and gonna break down really nicely over the hours that it cooks. On the outside, we're gonna be seasoning it with some Cattleman's Grilled Tri-Tip seasoning because it's got flavors in it that are gonna really complement the other stuff going on in the pot, like garlic and black pepper and red bell pepper. You can see that our oil is smoking hot now, so we're gonna throw our roast in there to get the sear. While the roast is searing, I'm gonna prepare the vegetables that are gonna go in the pot alongside the roast. I've got about two pounds of red potatoes that I'm just gonna cut into fairly large chunks. And then we've got a couple of large yellow onions. We're also gonna dice these fairly large. Uh, and that goes for pretty much all of the vegetables today because we're going to be cooking them for so long. Next, I have three good-sized carrots. And now we have three stalks of celery. All right, it's nice and brown all the way around. So we're gonna take that out. And I'm just gonna turn the heat off now and add a little bit of wine to the pan to deglaze the bottom. And that allows us to scrape up all that stuff that got cooked on the bottom and has tons of flavor in it. We've got eight ounces of mushrooms. And then for aromatics, we're using some fresh thyme, some fresh rosemary, a bay leaf, and a few cloves of garlic. All right, we're gonna put some veggies down on the bottom of the pan. Not all of them, but then we'll set the roast on top of here. Set that roast right on top of there. Add the remaining veggies. And the aromatics. Fill that all the way up. And the next thing we need is our braising liquid. So we use maybe a half cup to a cup of the wine when we were deglazing the pan. We're gonna use the remainder as our braising liquid. But to fortify that, we wanna to add to it some beef base, and that's really gonna help out with the beefy flavor of the pot roast in the finished product. So we're gonna add the rest of this bottle to a bowl, and then we'll add a couple of tablespoons of our beef base. Give it a whisk. And we'll just pour this mixture over the top all the veggies in the roast. Now I want a little bit more liquid in here for the braising process, so we're just gonna top it off with a little bit of water. So we'll throw our lid on, take this over to the cooker. All right, so we're cooking our pot roast on a Yoder Smokers YS640 pellet grill today. It's set to 300 degrees. And we're just gonna place that in there with the lid on and let it do its work for about two hours before we even check to see what's going on. All right, so this has been going for about three hours now. About two hours in, we came out, 
We flipped the roast over to make sure it was braising evenly. And now you can see that this is just super tender, ready to pull apart. So at this point, we are ready to remove this from the cooker. And we're gonna go ahead and take the roast out, set that aside. And we can discard the stuff that we're not gonna eat, like these rosemary sprigs here, and the thyme. Our vegetables are all super tender as well. So the last thing we want to do to finish this all off is turn this braising liquid into gravy. So we're going to remove all of these vegetables from the pot. And we have just the cooking liquid left in here. And we're going to bring it up to a simmer. All right, I've whisked together about a quarter cup of cornstarch with just enough water to turn that into a liquid. And we're gonna add a little bit of this to the pot to thicken our gravy. So we'll only add about half to start with. And we'll give this a few minutes to thicken up. All right, I'm gonna want this a little bit thicker, so we're gonna add some more of our slurry. And when you reach the desired consistency, you can turn the heat off, give it a taste, and see if you need to add any salt or adjust any seasonings. It's really nice right where it's at. So I'm just gonna lay down a base on our serving platter of vegetables. Place our roast right here on top. Some more veggies around the side. And then we'll do a little gravy over the top. And you can see just how tender this is, how easily it shreds. And that's ready to serve for a big family gathering. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click the subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to thesauce.atbbq.com. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.